Tu es Guang Zhou, ouais. Ou t'es tu I'm sure I told you the story about me going through Guangzhou. Um, I was going through Guangzhou and I was like, I need some shirts. Oh yeah, and the guy was just like, nah. And I was, I went in there and it was like a children's shop, basically. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. then the, I just said, do you have anything a little bigger? And she just went, no, 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 you're too fat. <laughs> <laughs> brutally honest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're like, oh, whereas we've got those lines about like, oh, if you lost weight. So yeah, they, yeah. The Chinese and are always just like, they default to, geez, you're getting a bit fat. <laughs> Mate, look, we're here again, recording a podcast that's called... Two Cents Gets Distracted. Oh, this is two weeks in a row we've actually mentioned the name of the podcast, which feels all right, but it feels a little odd at the same time. Do you know where the podcast is available for people who don't want to listen on or watch on YouTube? Got to be honest, I've forgotten, so can you remind me, Mark? One of the options is Spotify. Another option that's just come to me is iHeartRadio. There's also Google Podcasts. There's Apple Podcasts. Even Stitcher. (laughs) Even Stitcher? Unbelievable. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. If you're in the car... If you're in the car, we'll just rather not look at our faces. Yeah, if you, I if, wouldn't blame if you. If you find us all two, all two together, arousing, and you just can't, whichever have, end of the spectrum. Yeah, you might need a Kalen Doris, and you just spend the whole time fapping away when you're watching on YouTube. Don't blame you. Don't blame. We get that feedback a lot in our DMs, don't we? Do you get oh, that? all the time. Yeah, yeah. Um, so if you just can't handle that, although I must admit, I feel like I've got a bit of a sexy thing happening with my voice at the moment. Can you hear it? Have you got a slightly bit of a, it's like a little bit of a, a coldy kind of croaky. Yeah, I, the, my, this is the best my voice has sounded all day. Right. Um, but I woke up just, yeah, right down, yeah, yeah, right yeah, yeah, down yeah. in this register. Nice. I just could barely talk. My, lo- just... my wife loves it when I'm that kind of sick, where I'm really? like mostly fit like and able, but my voice is kind of stuffed. And she's just like, ooh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> It sounds much Get nicer. over here. <laughs> Don't give me the germs, but to keep talking. Keep talking. <laughs> she just rings you up in the middle of the day. It's like phone sex now. <laughs> Uh, yeah, no, yeah, I don't feel too bad. I feel a little bit uh, like I'm battling something, but right. yeah, the voice is, is, is taking a trip to sexy down. Nice. Well, there you go, Ooh, listeners. Yeah. All the more reason to listen. <laughs> maybe. Maybe those people who can't help but get aroused uh, when they watch it on YouTube are also now getting aroused listening to one of our on a, one of our many platforms. So I apologize to you. Apologies for the arousal. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of arousing. That, I want that, by the way, I want that to be my epitaph. Here lies Tony O'Sullivan. Apologies for the arousal. <laughs> they go all right. Uh, yeah. This is a rugby podcast, if you can't deal. We are going to talk some rugby. We will. And there was rugby to actually get into. There was. Boy, oh boy. It was... How, how's your tattoo watch going? Because... Um, okay. Like, um, I, I was thinking on the drive over here. So that's where you want to start. You want to start with the ABs. I want to start with the ABs. Yeah. Are we ready to put the fan train back into like arrogant, arrogant fan mode? We are like, looking because we've been in kind of like retreat. Retreat. We've been in cautiously, just keeping quiet in the corner mode for a while. Or, or, or we've been in the we're actually pretty good, but we've got a shit coach mode. Yeah. But are we ready to switch gear into we are a genuine contender for the World Cup mode? We are definitely a genuine contender contender for the World Cup. <laughs> But it has been a rough World Cup cycle. Mm. It's been a rough few years. So obviously, with the COVID in there, it's been a rough few years for everyone. But in terms of our results on the board, we internationally, like historically, we have a winning record of 76%. Mm. And over the professional era, it's been more in the 80s. Like right. If you look at Richie McCall's record here, like it, incredible? it was over 90% win record. And the yep. guy played 143 tests over 15 years or yep. 14 years. So we've been incredible. So having we've had, yeah, just over 70% mm. over this year. I think it's 71% now. So that's been really bad. And losing that series in Ireland and losing to Ireland and France before and then yep. just, and having a few hiccups along the way, that's been, you know, that's... And people love to jump on the... Oh, yeah. Uh, the the downfall know, of the yeah, All Blacks. the downfall of the All Blacks. And we also love to, like, put the boot into our coaches when, yep. it, when it goes in. And boy, oh, boy, I, got, I did that. Yeah. We, we did fire a bunch of assistant coaches. We did, yeah, yeah, yeah. And we brought in two of the best coaches in the world, to be fair. That's right. Um, but it's been a it's been a roller coaster. But is it come, coming right at the right time? You'd have to say... So well, far, signs are optimistic. Sh- it's looking about as good as it possibly could have looked at this point mm. of the season going, you know. Yeah. We're, we're uh, without a loss. We've was any, was anybody we haven't looked won? like losing any of these games. No, was anybody... I don't think anybody was picking the All Blacks to come well, out firing as well as they've done look this dominant no like, 
yeah, I don't know. I don't know if that's you know people really want to hear about us just bragging about how great the All Blacks look, but they it's nice for a change. It is nice. It's been a rough, rough few years. Yeah, and you know you got to you got to hand it to Fozzie. I know there are people mm. out there saying, well, it clearly looks like a Schmidt mm. coach mm. team or a Ryan coach team, but at the end of the day, he's the guy who's got mm. to front the media. He's the guy who's got to, you know, be at the top of it all. Put it all together, basically. Yeah. Be a manager. You know what they? Maybe he's a bit of more like a Clive Woodward. You know what they used to call? I heard this on another podcast, and I'm still. I can't remember where I stole it from, but they used to call. Steal away. They used to call him um, in the 2003 campaign where they won the World Cup. The players used to call him the bus. You know why they called him the bus? Why? Because he's not quite a coach. So. Ooh. yeah so that took me a second to click yeah 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 mm. yeah and not quite a coach so maybe it's like just a management sometimes all the honestly that's what you need like sometimes mm. yeah if that works they won the world cup yeah exactly sometimes it's more about just facilitating other people to do their thing rather than actually being the one with all the you know like some some of the best managers i've worked with in my other jobs like they've not necessarily known more about whatever tasks they're doing than yeah. the people they're working with but they know how to get the right people together doing mm. the right things so yeah absolutely well, that's works. what it's about that's what mm. senior management's about really yeah, isn't that's it right. it's not so much about being on the tools yeah it's about ensuring that the people you know ensuring i think someone explained to me that leadership isn't about telling people to go up a wall it's about you know showing people what wall to climb up mm -hmm. you know and then other people can coach people to climb up a wall so you mm -hmm. set the strategy overall essentially okay. does that make sense what i just said i was never a big picture guy i'm too Isn't dumb that? for that yeah me too it's okay uh but the all blacks won 38 7 yeah pretty convincingly over in australia at the mcg Eighty-three thousand people wow can i do something can i say something and no one else is saying i don't think australia played that badly i don't think I know it's three losses from three lo mm -hmm. three games, and Eddie looked like a damn fool this week. Yeah. Like after just talking it up so big, saying it's going to be the downfall of the New Zealand economy and mm -hmm. putting all. But you know, at least he was garnering some bloody interest. Yeah. And f if you watched sixty minutes of that game and told a another t uh, told someone who couldn't see the screen, mm. uh, you know, say. Uh, and like just to talk out the New Zealand tries, it would look like the Australians were, were in it for long periods of that yeah. game. I was nervous for about 20 minutes of that second half, the first 20 minutes of that second half, where mm. they had, we couldn't even get out of our half. No, that's right. And we couldn't exit. We kept on, we were defending stoutly, mm. like incredible defense to yeah. be able to turn away, turn them away. Adi Safia got an incredible turnover mm. at the breakdown. And then I think Mwanga or Barrett didn't actually clear yeah. to get to touch. And then they had another run at us and another run at us and another run at us. They had a series of line outs, they just, but they just couldn't get across our line. But they were just so on top of us mm. they weren't letting us breathe but it was just incredible that we didn't yeah and that moment where we got down there at their end scored the try mr scotty barrett with, who, the, shush. with the shush he shushed a couple of times the same guys it was uh nick, it was white. nick white and Did then he, on the ground he on the ground was oh. the, the, that was that's the shush of all shushes he cleans him out clatters him onto the ground and then as he's trying to complain to the ref he's just like puts his hand over his lips and it's just like be quiet sleep now baby child <laughs> that was great that was amazing scotty barrett was incredible for him oh my god look we've had kaylin doris's we've had a couple of sand canes this year but boy oh boy i got a great scott the other day. <laughs> great scott we got a oh, dog roll yeah <laughs> <laughs> wow uh, dog oh, roll is man. what he's known it is in some yeah. quarters of new zealand yeah. um but yeah my god <laughs> that was such a hit yeah yeah he oh that yeah he was remarkable yeah that thumb can i can i say I don't know, oh my god is he play looking like the international player he's, of the one, year of right now? he's, he's one of them isn't he he led the crusaders to, yeah he had think, a great season with the crusaders played great in all the test matches yep has basically put either Whitelock or Retallic Barrett or, yeah, yeah, or Retallic on the bench, which yeah. no one thought that because no. those guys haven't exactly gone down in form. No, that's right. But he's just done the impossible. It's just, he's just taking it up a notch, eh? Holy shit. He's shiza. playing really well. He's playing incredibly well. And one of the things I found interesting at the end of the game, everyone was, he was, he was the guy talking. He was the guy talking mm. on the circuit. He was the guy at the, you know, the post-match had them all in the huddle. He was the guy yeah. they were all looking at. Yeah. He seems like a bit of a... a well, real... I might have mentioned it when I... Because I went through that All Blacks experience tourist attraction here in Auckland. And they had three All Blacks with us, which was Cody Taylor, Scott Barrett, and um, 
Summer Penifino is not quite an All Black yet, but he's with the camp. Yeah. And all the three of the guys spoke at one point, and Scott Barrett was far and away the most natural speaker. He seemed yeah. very, very articulate, very comfortable. The other guys were just kind of like, let me just give you a quick anecdote so we can move on, whereas Scotty was yeah. actually quite engaging. So, yeah, right. I mean, not, not everyone's got that, yeah. but he seems pretty adept at it. So, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, not everybody does have that, but. And the man has some incredible skills. That ball that he um, threw to Caleb Clark. Oh, yeah, that, one-handed. That Goodness me. Fire. Well, the way he caught that in the first place, because yeah. he took a ball from Will Jordan yeah, that yeah. 95% of locks are going to drop because they're way out in front of him, yeah. making him stretch down around his bootlaces, manages to gobble it up, yeah. step, step, beat two men, and then just basketball pass it as yeah. he's falling. Unbelievable. Like, and a rocket, like beautiful, yeah. right... Ugh. Oh, it was thing of beauty oh, stuff. Damn. Yeah, Getting one right now. Just, that was sensational. And yeah. just, yeah, what a what a man. What a mighty good man. Cody Taylor looked good. Yeah. Good. Will Jordan, he's... Beautiful. He must be a real prick, isn't he? Like, <laughs> if, you, oh. if you're playing against that guy, that's just like, that just sucks. Yeah. Because you, you, s- you see him like get three players marking him and he's just like, meow, meow. he either steps out of the way or he gets the ball away to somebody, avoids the tackle, makes somebody bite in. Like he just makes people look stupid. He's just one of those guys and that's the, mm. the big sign of class and Dan Carter had, had it, mm. you know, some of the great French players had it over the years as well. Like that time on the ball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, like. Just looks so comfortable. He's got these giant human beings coming at him who are just wanting to smash his head off and he just. He's just an elusive, eh? Glides. Yeah, just it's like an goes eel. And just doesn't look like he's ever doing anything at full tip. But just, no, that, that yeah. try he scored where he kind of stepped back inside, it looked like nonchalant, but it was still, he had like a, a three guys of, around A lot him. of men would have been bundled into touch. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Most, most men. And my God, Mark Talia? Mm-hmm. You know, this, like, I think Mark Talia has not played badly in a black jersey. No. But he hasn't, like, shone like that. Mm. He hasn't, you know, got to those... It was pretty know, incredible. Incredi- and we've been picking him up all year. And I, I, I say a lot of our international mm. audience is like, okay, well, we'll see it when we... We'll see it when so far, so good. Yeah, when we believe it, we'll see it. What am I trying to say? See it? I'll believe it when I see it. That's there you go. Saying. But the way that stutter step... Mm. Like, he did a lot of really good things. Yeah. Like, but that stutter step against Corin Betty, which just... Yeah. would have hurt Corin Betty in a deep, dark place. Corin Betty yeah. had a few howlers. Yeah. I mean, he shot out of the line to try and smash Will Jordan when Will Jordan gives that try to Talia. Yeah. Yeah, because he, yeah. Corin Betty flies out. Will Jordan's just like, meow, meow, nope. Mm. And then Callaway has to bite in because Corin Betty's missed his man. So Will Jordan just gives it to Talia, who's got open try line ahead of him. Yeah. With a player like Will Jordan... You have to trust your defenders around you. And oh, Carabetti needs to make that hit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, He's, yeah he, I don't think he had his finest game, and I felt really bad for Carter Gordon. Oh, yeah, he had a uh, couple of, like, unforced errors. He played, like, he was so dire in the first 10 minutes yeah. of that game. Like, yeah, like, that non, the kickoff that doesn't go 10, that's pretty yeah. brutal, but... The kickoff that doesn't... I think he missed touch a couple of times. Yeah, yeah. He, he dropped the ball a number of times. He just looked like he was out of his league. And when he when the game started, and we've been bigging him up. Yeah, I know. So yeah, I don't know. Like, uh, where did you? Are oh, you were live streaming it, right? Mm. I was at a mate's house. I right. got a yeah. I did a I did a terrible thing at a friend's house. I was at my friend's house, and he has a small child upstairs, right? Like a one year old, just turned one. Right. And so he he does he only watches like the All Blacks games, and then I was with another mate who was like, this was the first game of rugby he had watched the whole year. Okay. But these guys are like former rugby fans. They like, we watch the All Blacks. We'll, right. watch, we'll watch World Cup. You know? Right, right. Super casuals, but you know, interested. Interested enough to want to like, come around and watch rugby. Okay. You know, um, but so it was the, ch- obviously the children are going to be at a long time You woke the children up. Well, when Barrett made that hit, on McDermott yeah. and then Friskel scored the other two were just so like the games started they were sort of just like, chatting a little bit like uh, and they hadn't actually realized what had happened and I went oh fuck <laughs> <laughs> and I yelled it really loudly and then we went <laughs> so I woke up I like, knew you woke up the children so there's uh, something terrible and I there was a one year old I woke up the like. one year old and then the mum had to deal with the one year old for the rest of the game so. you're not popular with the mum nah the mum was like she was going to wake up anyway they're just very nice people I oh, think that's nice. yeah, so they didn't make she's cursing you once you left don't bring that guy around ever again yeah terrible person 
Yeah. Yeah, but no, it was just impressive the way that the All Blacks could like absorb all that pressure. Mm, mm. And I th- really feel like the Wallabies came to play. They yeah. they were playing with the, their runs, their runs on the, on the ball. They were playing, running with some real heat. Um, they were really physical in the contact. Bro, they ran Angus Brody. Bell, the yeah. loose head. Jesus, he was incredible. He was yeah. a man possessed. Yeah. But Alan Alatoa has got a long-term injury. He's done, I think it was his... Uh, ACL. ACL, yeah. So he's so It's a rupture though, isn't it? So it's not a break or a tear, it's a rupture. I think it's his World Cup though, isn't it? Those are varied. Mm. Those can be those can be like at best three, four weeks. At worst, many, many months. Right. You know, it depends on how bad you've ruptured. That sucks because I feel it's like he was their starting tight head going into the World Cup, I yeah. reckon. I know Tupo's oh, back. Oh, even though he gets injured. That but I was... mean, Tupo's not a guy that you can go. He's going to play at least 50 minutes and be fine. He's not been that guy for 18 months. That was a particularly ugly little period there. Yeah. Um, and you've got like a lot of people being very harsh on Eddie Jones for many reasons at the moment. Mm-hmm. But that was some pretty poor coaching, keeping him out there. I think he was directly like mm. he was out there for what, seven minutes after, after being he, clearly yeah, yeah, not in general. Like he was yeah. at one point, he was just like, you know, his rib was gone. I think it's something that was his knee. Was gone, it doesn't yeah. look like he's in particularly great shape right no, now. No. Um, and it was just, and he was walking to the sideline, went like that, and no one was coming mm. on. And it was like Eddie was like, no, you got to have your minutes. Mm. You got to, you got to, you got to do what you got to do for the team. And then, Everything he tried to do, he, he like was he tried to make a few tackles and stuff yeah, like that, yeah, yeah. but he was Ends up and that last because he can't lift his arm. Yeah, and he's yeah, he's probably trying to protect Bracing his rib himself. as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like he goes in and he rolls around on the ground, and then they finally get him off, and then you get a yellow card for your troubles, which turns out to be for about seven minutes a two two player yeah. yellow card because it has to go to golden oldies. Well, that's the thing. I mean, when you mentioned how you thought the Aussies didn't play that bad, they conceded a ton of points when they had men down. Yeah. That is particularly brutal. And that you have to take that into account when you look at the scoreline. Like yeah. the All Blacks, when it was 15 on 15, didn't just score try, super tries for no. fun. It wasn't like they just, you know, it looked like they could have got 50, but you know, when the Wallabies went back to 15 guys, it looked a bit healthier. Yeah. And there's a massive pile on on the, on the Wallabies right mm. now, but you count. Everyone loves to hate Eddie. Yeah, I know, but count them out at the World Cup at your mm. peril, I reckon. Like, this sort of thing, this sort of adversity will do two things, one or two things, basically completely crush them and they'll turn up and just poop the bed and or galvanize them. get out in the corners or just completely galvanize them mm. and turn them into savages. Mm. But the sad thing right now is just in some crucial spots, they don't have the depth or don't have the players. And yeah. that's just the thing. They, it's 21 years now that we've had the Bledisloe Bledisloe Cup. Yeah. But you've, they've had some great players over that mm. time, but they just haven't had as many great players mm. as us. We've just got greater depth. Yeah. And they'll get the odd win here or there. Um, but but the record's not. been pretty lopsided, eh? Pretty lopsided. Do we go back to three-game series with the Bledders alone? I don't think it helped. I mean, the part of the reason I think... But it would re- help. Like, right now, the, the the series would still be alive. Yeah. But how do we but how do we shoehorn in an extra I think extra part game? of the reason they reduced it down from three is because we kept playing three and we kept beating them. Like, it was affecting... I thought it was... It was affecting Australia's rankings and whatnot. Like that, they would. Like you're always losing two out of three. Yeah. So they were never getting a positive record. I mean, what it means is they got to win two from two, but. which is bloody hard. What year did they change it? Was it in During this run? COVID? Was yeah. it in this run? During I COVID. Like, I feel like it was Dave no. Rennie's time. No, it's been freaking two games for donkeys years. You reckon? Yeah, I reckon. Oh. <sighs> I have to Google something. This is all right. Google time. I, 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 do a, I, you, I know yeah. the webpage. You, you, yeah, you talk okay. about something while I uh, have a look. Yeah, well, that Tanley Elob Tupo uh, saga was just really quite embarrassing to witness. Mm. Um, and yeah, for it, like Eddie's done great with his promo. He did a great couple of ads this week. The barber uh, one. The barber one and the dad one. Do you see the dad yeah. one? Yeah. I thought they were both pretty great. But yeah. talked all that noise and stuff. Got some hype around the game. But just completely fell over on his face. But I, I, I don't. It's like they're playing high grade of opposition at the moment. Mm. Um, but if they can potentially bring it in, 
you know, get that team unity going. They could they could do something. Well, I don't know, can they? Number 10, have they got anyone decent enough to steer them around the park? I think it needs to be Carter Gordon. He just needs a bit more time. But God, he hasn't he got looked, much time. He looked average, man. Like, that would be like, I think he, like, I would have rather have had Bryn Gatland on the field than him on the weekend. Like, Bryn Gatland would have played better than that. Mm. He wouldn't have made those sort of mistakes. And Bryn Gatlin is not an international first five. I'm taller than him. Yeah, you've mentioned that. Yeah, you are. I think you're right. Him. It does go back quite a way. Yeah. Why, do, why do I think why it was so recent? Was, I don't know. I was like, no, I'm pretty sure it's been a, a while. I thought that was one of the things they complained about. Like, Yeah, playing so, each other too much. Yeah, was, 2014 was two games. Yeah, I thought it was like we're back to early 2000s or late oh, 90s. Oh. Okay. Anyway. Yeah, yeah, I thought it's been a long time. Seems like it's been a while. Yes, you thought it was COVID. We were playing them three times a year. Maybe it was just because we. You're meant to do this for a job, man. I know. God, holy smokes, eh? Well, this is like um, uh, this is like going to the, a, a cafe or a bar with one of your mates these days when you're like, I haven't seen you for ages, and then you're like, then you're like, oh, he's just scrolling on his phone. <laughs> that does <laughs> happen a, a lot. Fun. Oh, terrible people these days. <laughs> terrible people. That day that I went to the All Blacks experience, that I mentioned this was a bit like a blast from the past because I was meeting up with my brother's father-in-law. Yes. And I didn't have his phone number. Oh. So like... You had to meet at a certain time at a yeah, certain place. Yeah, yeah, So Wow, that's great. My sister-in-law called me and was like, do you want to go to this thing? And I was like, yeah, I'll go. And she's like, right, I'll put my dad on. You guys can talk about it. And he's like, right, what do you want to do? Is this time? And I was like, right, I'll meet you at Sky City at this time. And he's like, all right, see you then. And we went there, I was just like, shit, what if he's not there? <laughs> it was so weird. It was like yeah. being a teenager again before I had a cell phone. But that's how you used to meet people. That's how you used to meet people. Yeah, you have yeah. to pre-arrange a time and a place to oh, meet. Amazing. And you had to be there. Yeah. It was great. It wouldn't be like, I'm leaving now. No. Oh, and then you text, you're like, oh, I'm here, where are you? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm pretty, still stood next to the bar. It's probably an easier way to do it, really. Just have a you know, predetermined spot and get there, you know? Great stuff. Good times. What do you see as the the Wallabies' greatest strength right now, which is not a topic people are talking about? What's some silver linings they can take out of this? Oh, there's deep thought about this. There's nothing coming to mind. <laughs> or is there a few things coming to mind? And Well, you're... they've still got lots of good Lucys. Yes. I feel like there's more to come Why from... the fuck wasn't McWright playing? I don't know. I like McWright. Tom Hooper made 30 tackles, which is insane. Yeah, right. Good, but, on, you. Good on your yeah. hoops. The other hoops. The other Hooper. Yeah. And their locks, I feel like they can get more value out of Skelton and Richie Arnold and Nick Frost than what they're getting. Yeah. I do worry about the front row, especially with Ala Alatoa potentially out. Have they um, got anyone else? They've either got, you either play an old 10 in Quade Cooper or you play this young fella. It's kind of six of one, half a dozen the other. There's no like great option either way. Yeah. Like, do you have faith in him but now? They're not, but they're not going to the World Cup for the croissants. Apparently. No, that's right. Yeah. That's right. Lenicky Tower's out. He's one of their kind of key midfield guys. Ouch. I mean, they've got, they've got some good players. Mark, but... Mark, uh, now when he to was, he was played very well again. Mm -hmm. He had another great Yeah, break. he's, he's, he's a, a little, he's, he's still. Uh, he's Angus still... Bell, like, um, like you said, uh, who's the guy? You Mark Nawinitz. Mark Nawinitz. Was that's right. He he played well. Apparently, I mean, Wonga to Nis Wonga to Mark Nawa Wonga Nawonga. It's not Wanita. It's Wonganita. Okay. Uh, something like that. Wonganita was. Yeah, there's a Q in there, which I think is a ng sound. Yeah, Wonganita Wonganita was. Mm. There you go. Um, yeah, he's he he's must just, have had a crap time yeah. when he was going to school, and you could see the teachers going like, you know, Mark, John Smith, he present, Mark Inward, <laughs> yeah, and then you see the teacher go, oh for fuck's sake, yeah, yeah, Mark, 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 Mark. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I just coughed all over you. <laughs> now you got SARS, um, SARS for yeah, those of yeah, you yeah. who are we're under we're, like thirty years old, we're going, that was, we're um, going, that's, we're going that's, old that's, school. That's the old COVID. Now you got mad cow <laughs> disease now. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so the All Blacks, they win the Rugby Championship, uh -huh. they retain the Bledisloe, Woo! they go second in the world. Yes. <laughs> Is everything just coming up, Fozzie? Come on, Fozzie. Look, 
I made a video about how crap I thought uh, Fozzie was. Is stuff. Oh, that's my video. I'm not oh, a car out there. Um, Forgot it was your video. I put a card for two cents onto it. Um, uh, I'm obviously at the end of the uh, Irish series, and there was a lot to take away and mm. lots to uh, criticize at that point but i'm still a new zealander and i yeah. bloody well hope they win and all that sort of thing so yeah like, i'm quite happy to have you on my face about it right i really am like and i think it'd be a lovely story for him it's a bit of, it's there's a little bit of beaver about it mm. you know like written off abused you know. yeah. yeah go for it fozzy go for it boy are we a little bit guilty of the kind of last game Itis, they're like, oh, All Blacks have played well. Think, well we're think, amazing. <laughs> Wallabies didn't play that great. They're crap. Springboks yeah. are a bit unconvincing. They're not going to win the World Cup. Like, Yeah, of course. I think all fans are. Mm. But I think you've got... We're trying to sort of view it with a little yeah. bit more of a sort of higher on the hill sort of mm. broader scope of the thing. But it's hard not to because mm. you get so wrapped up in it. But if they had just won this game and lost to Argentina and lost to South Africa, we'd be like... This is crap. Yeah, oh mm. god, they freaking the sun shines on a dog's ass some days, mm. which is kind of the way we were kind of responding to some of their wins last year, mm. you know. Um, True, less than convinced. Less than convinced. Well, speaking of the box, yeah, twenty-two, twenty-one winners over. Speaking Argentina, of unconvincing over a period looks, of time, I mean, twenty-two, twenty-one looks like it was. Well, I want to say closer than it was, but I mean, the box couldn't have lost it at the death. But geez, the Pumas gave them a run. I thought the Pumas were a better team on the day. Like they had a ton of ball. Yeah, they had a lot of ball. I think they um I think both I think it was an ugly game to mm. watch for the most part. Um I checked the stats. Oh, of course you did. The last job. time a team went to South Africa and got more possession than the box was like back in twenty twenty one when they were coming out of COVID like a year behind everybody else. Oh. Like the Lions tour that year. You know, when it was all closed yeah, closed yeah. doors. Like that was the last time. They played a lot less games than us than, than everyone else. We during that because they they took twenty twenty off. We've, we've played 44 games over this mm. um, period. They, I think they've played 29. Right. It's well, a lot of like games. Like I said, they had that whole year where they didn't play any games. Yeah, yeah. It's going to suck when guys like Eben Etzebeth and them retire. You're going to be like, oh, he could have had another you 15 know, 10, 15 caps. I mean, yeah. Well, he's still... He's a, He played really well. He's a freak. He played really well. But um, no, I thought... He flattened bloody... Uh, oh, Santiago Carrera. Carrera yes. on the wing. Oh, God. He had was... to go for an HIA. He hit him that hard. Oh, we can talk about HIAs in a second. Mm. But um, uh, yeah, I thought that both teams... I think the Argentinians will be kicking themselves mm -hmm. that they didn't get that. And, you know, Carrera started the game kicking yeah, well. Yeah, yeah. After he got that hit, maybe he stopped kicking so well because he... That conversion, he, eh? He missed two conversions and... No, he missed one conversion and two penalties. Mm. So that's, you know... If he just gets one of those kicks... Eight points. Yeah. Eight points he left out there. Mainly um, that conversion... But maybe they he, wouldn't have got that last try. They would have been a little... Maybe. Oh, he's but I mean, if he gets it, but, that... At least if he gets that penultimate conversion it would have been all to play for at least exactly it's yeah. not an eight point gap it's a six point gap yeah it would have been exciting yeah but we were, it was kind of crap because we watching that final black on they could score here yeah and you're like but it doesn't really matter no that's but, right yeah and the, the defenders have that about them as well There's yeah less desperation yeah and they did score mm. and it was you know the box walloped them by one point mm. the box had a couple of nice little moments of class but terrible handling mm. like i think it was they had 20 turnovers conceded in that game which is the most i can remember seeing in a long time their worst game of the championship at least say? they get it out the way yeah i feel like you got to get sometimes you just have a stinker yeah well obviously they didn't they didn't play particularly well against mm. us they flogged the Wallabies yeah. at home. That's such a weird thing as well. Like, I'm talking about that kind of last game-itis. Like, you saw that box performance against the Wallabies, and you're like, shit, these guys are going to win the World Cup. And then one week later, you're like, well, oh, maybe not. I didn't. Th oh, I don't know. What was, I, what was I thinking about, about them? Well, South Africa Rugby Magazine was certainly thinking no, they, Of course they were. But they've lost. The, the Springboks have lost um, four of the last games they've played against likely quarterfinalists. Okay. So the last time they've they've lost the last two games they played us. They've lost the last time they played France, and they've lost the one they've lost the last time they played Ireland. Right. So they got losing records going into all of those games, mm. and I think if they played like they played against Argentina um, in a pool game, they're going to lose to Scotland. I think Scotland beats that that Scotland bot team. Beat Italy at the weekend, and apparently it was 
turgid. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm, but that's good. Scotland's first game in a long time. Yeah, maybe. That, that's the one where they should be shaking off the rust. I haven't seen it. I don't think it was if, broadcast if, here. If that, but people have told me you didn't miss much. Okay. If that Scot- Scottish team, mm. if that, no, sorry, if that Bok team from the weekend played the Scottish team from the Six Nations, right? I think it's, I think the Six Nations wins. I mm. think Scotland wins that game. Mm. And like I. It's just going off what I could see. It just right. did not look particularly impressive. Mm. You know, they were clinical when they needed to be. They put away the chances that they had. But my God, were they sloppy at the breakdown? Were they a mm. little bit lackluster? Gets off one a few good turnovers. Like they had a few moments yeah. where the like the Pumas would just like wave after wave, and then Kitsoff would win a turnover. I think Marks mm. once won a turnover. Just like they kind of get it a jail card. Yeah. Oh, like yeah. They, they needed true. a few times where they needed someone to step up and get yeah, them. Yeah, there was a. There were a few of those. Like if they yeah. concede tries in two of those situations, then they lose. Yeah. Felt like the Argentinians when they got into that red zone, they were just a little bit panicked. Mm. They just would. They were just looking for like a magic play or just. They are they, still they, lacking a little bit of polish of kind of that X factor. Yeah. That, that Will Jordan, who's going to be like, he's either going to score. Or he's going to set somebody think, else up. And just to hark back to the Wallabies, all that games for a moment, that was the problem with the Wallabies as well. They spent so much time camped on our line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they just didn't have that class that, that, to be able to create right? something. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. A little, something a little bit of creative, get, get the ball to the space mm-hmm. and enable, you know, Corin Betty or somebody else just to get a one-on-one. Yeah, that's you right. You know, like, or if they did get that, they were getting wrapped up by some really great defense. Yeah. You know, like, it was, yeah. But that was yeah, as you say, the same with the with the the Argentinians. Yeah. And I thought the Argentinians against the I thought they played better against the Wallabies mm. than they did against the Box. I thought that Box team was really the worst performance of of the rugby championship so far. Would most of them agree with that? I think so. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think they were particularly chuffed. I mean, they were obviously disappointed by the result over here against the All Blacks, but. That game was weird in that it kind of had the travel factor. They had the shifted squad. So there was kind of, I don't want to say an excuse, but there was like a potential logic behind why it didn't click. Whereas this is a game where you're at home, you play in the Pumas who kind of struggled to beat the Wallabies. Although they did get in a good away win, but no one was giving the Pumas much of a chance going into that Mm. one. Like it was supposed to be, yep, the South African side should see them off pretty comfortably. Yeah, it was supposed to be more like the the Wallabies game, the fifth round one, South Africa Wallabies, than it was. What but the Argentina didn't even play that well. Mm. Like it was a it was a turgid affair. Like we, I've stole your word just there because it's on the top of my mind now. But it wasn't a fun game to watch, really. Uh, yeah, too many errors from both sides, and like I said, like the Pumas had so much ball and so many carries, but it was that kind of just wave after wave. There wasn't that many kind of like X factor, like it, the wave after wave leads to some space. Did you get everything? Was Colby and Aronser on the wings everything you wanted it to be? Not really. Mm. They didn't get enough ball to get no. the chance to like actually see them that much in action. Like Aronser had a good chance at the end of the first half. He got tackled into the touch by Santiago Carreras. Um, Colby had a few good moments, but not enough to really get too excited about. So, yeah. so this mm. is one of the things I kind of noticed with the box of late is over... You know, actually, it's quite. Um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Not. What's the opposite of localized? It is systemic. So it's. Uh, they seem to have a lot of a lot of time. Great outside backs. You know, mm-hmm. Makazoli, Mapimpi, Irons. Uh, um, even like this guy. What is he, uh What's his name? The other guy. I think he looks like Sparkles McFabulous. Oh, Ken Moody. I like the look of him. And they've got obviously they've got like Kanye Arm, you yep. know, some great players. But their great outside backs seem to for the most part live off scraps. Like if they get if they get a bit of broken play, you know, in the backfield or yep. somebody else drops a high ball, they can swoop in on it and make you pay. That's but what I, was pleasing about that Australia game though, is they 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 gave but their yeah, wingers that was so a, much ball. And it was like, oh my God, look what they can do. That was incredible. And it was like, the, mm. maybe that's the one time they just showed a little bit of their hand. when Because mm. it looked like the Wallabies were just repeatedly setting up for, you know, oh, they're going to box kick here. Yeah. But, you know, they weren't. And then, you know, Fuff was like, you know, spreading it out to, you know, what's the bloke's name who's playing 12? Um, uh, uh, Pesta has in yeah, that yeah, game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, yeah. Or Dale Ender in this game. Yeah, but they're getting it out wide quickly, and the, and defenses and the defense wasn't set up for it. But we haven't seen that since, you know. You think there is still a little bit of kind of playing the cards close to your chest? 
Well, maybe that's the genius of um, Rossi and Ninaba. Mm. Maybe that's why they're the greatest rugby w- rugby World Cup nation in the mm. world with three success rate compared to yeah. Of they've got three played. tournaments, one out of seven attempts. It's pretty good. It's pretty bloody good. Um, and maybe that's part of it that they put all their eggs into that basket. And they've gone into these other. Obviously, I'm writing this piece. So I've got a few stats in my head right mm. now. Love last a good stat. last tournament, they went into it um, ranked fifth. Mm. fifth in the world and they won the tournament they're ranked fourth right now mm. and they were ranked fourth in 2007 mm. um, in 1995 I don't know what they were ranked but they didn't have the world rankings back then yeah, started, thank, started, started 2003 thank you because I could only go back to 2003 I was like where are these why wouldn't they do rankings the game wasn't professional, I guess. But they were not um, seen as a big threat. In that, well, they, they were at home and all that sort of stuff. They, they weren't seen as the, the favorite. They, they were out, they'd were they been in the wilderness for so yeah, long by that yeah. stage. Mm. Ah. Oh, my God. I'm giving you all my great material for my next piece. Why South Africa will not win the World Cup and why they will win the World Cup. When's that due? I've given myself another week. Oh, nice. Well, it's because I said two weeks. And then last night, I was, I was thinking to myself, shit. I haven't done any more on that. Right. So I wrote the rest of it. Okay. So it's written. Right. Now it has to be performed. Yes. Uh, yeah. And and, edited. And it, oh. That's the fun part. <laughs> That's the hard stuff. I have a two cents on tour video coming out this <laughs> Thursday, which I haven't done one second of oh. editing on. So. How long do they take you to edit? <sighs> Takes hours. Yeah. Yes. I have all the footage. I just chuck it all in one to time one to one timeline and just go crap, 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 crap. Ooh, public transport. Can crap, I, crap, crap. Can we can I sit on an and on an edit with you? Oh, can I edit one piece? This is a guest editor. We'll see. This is one that I think is gonna do rubbish. See like if you it, can turn a like a flying across the screen. <laughs> like in your mouth half the time, like jizzing on your face. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Two cents on tour. Twenty two twenty one. Two cents gets trained on. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes. Uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, Argentina scored in the seventy fifth and eighty third minute. That's the problem, eh? They need to score earlier. Yeah, they did. And they bloody had plenty of opportunities too. Mm-hmm. I mean that turnover ball try that Libok got, far for pounces that was the South African line speed yeah. just causing the Argentinian attack. Like the Argentinian attack, like you said, it just Looked a little bit uncomfortable. Yeah, they just needed... They were needed, forcing things a little bit, and that led to the Springboks try. Skillful players. Mm. Skillful players, lovely footwork. Yeah. So many of them have very, very light on their feet, very quick, yeah. very nimble, but just were just trying to do too much when they got the ball rather mm. than just playing as a team and a, as yeah. an attacking unit. Well, Michael Checker has said that <coughs> what he wants to do with this Puma squad, because they are based in all different teams and they don't have any cohesion, yeah. is just kind of build them up from the ground. So, like, get your ruck, Get your mall, get your you know, set piece sorted, yeah, and then we'll kind of build the layers from there. So maybe they're just not quite there yet. Who's in there? So who, they got England and who else in their pool? England, Japan. So they're the kind of three main ones Japan, for that pool. I don't think Japan's getting out of the pools. Well, this, this. so we talk about Japan. Let's talk about the great nation of the rising sun. Japan twenty-one sixteen over Tonga. And I gave in my prediction. I went a little bit bold on that one. I you said, went Tonga. I, I thought Tonga might take that. Mm. Um, tell me about the game because I did not watch it. Uh, great crowd. It was in Osaka. Uh, well done, Japan. And they losing a, team and the crowds keep Yeah, losing. Up. I mean, they played in Hokkaido the week before, like some baseball ground, which I seated like 50,000 and it did not sell out. Yeah. And they go to a football field in Osaka and it's got like a 20,000 seat or whatever and it was full. Mm-hmm. So it was, that was fantastic to see. Like, Who of my um, Tongan stars were playing? Uh, Falau was not playing. Is he injured? I think he might be because he's missed two games in a row now. Yeah. But Charles Piatel was at fullback. Mm-hmm. He had former All Black and Toulouse man Peter Arkey in the midfield. Nice. You Related had... to Bundy, isn't he? Uh, no, it's A-H-K-I rather than oh. A-K-I. Sorry. How incredibly racist of you. <laughs> they have the same last name. I and know. I thought that... I'm pretty sure Bundy's got a professional They brother. might be related. I thought he's got a... <laughs> they could be related. <laughs> they could be. I don't know. <laughs> They're just, they we are, could be but... related. <laughs> Dad? <laughs> uh, um, who else did they have? They had uh, Steve Murphy at number eight. They had Via Fafita. Oh, I like that. They had Ben Tamiafuna. Via Fafita looked incredible. Yeah, they had a bunch of the they had a bunch of good good players in their side. So um, scary team if yeah, they light yeah, up. Yeah, pretty good. So that's a good result for Japan then. 
Yeah, it was a bit of a weird one because the Tongans had all the ball. It was yeah. similar to that kind of Pumas game where can the you team had all the, the ball. T- can you describe the, t- the game to me as if it was a Shakespearean drama? No. Uh, can you give it a crack? King Lear? Have you seen King Lear? I, I know, you know King, King Lear. Lear. Yeah, I know King Lear. Starts off all rosy and then yeah, that kind of goes to shit. That's kind of what it... That's uh, pretty much all of them. Yeah, that's, <laughs> a, that, that's it. That's it. You didn't um, say Macbeth. Out, out, Dan Spot. What is this knife I saw you before thee? Something about no, can't be killed by no man or woman born or whatever it is. Uh, whatever that, it is. That's, yeah. that's Macbeth as well. Yeah. yeah. You can't say Macbeth in a theatre. It's bad luck. You gotta say the Scottish play. Yeah. I used to do a lot of shows growing Did up. Did I tell you when I went to see King Lear? No. I never told you this. Tell me, I actually I studied King Lear, but I'm really struggling off the top of my head to actually remember what the kind King of... King Lear's the king yes. who wants to give up being king and give the kingdom to his oh, three daughters. yes. And he's like, give me some... It's like Cornelius or something? Yeah, give it? me yeah. some praise, and then I'll give decide how to divide it up. And his first two daughters are like, oh, you're the man, fucking great. And then he, <laughs> they're sucking up. And the third daughter's just like, no, nah, you're my dad, I love you, so I'm not going to talk that bullshit. And then yeah. he kind of cuts her out, and then oh. when he divides the kingdom up to his two eldest daughters like he stays with them but he's got to have all his knights with him and some shit and they're like oh fuck dad come on man you're costing us all this bloody money to hold you're a pain in the ass yeah, we basically. Had to, we had to... <clears throat> so but what i was going to say was okay. do you remember when ian mckellen a was bit, in new sounds zealand a little bit anticlimactic the way you described it sorry it's, it's great, it's great. Yeah. but when ian mckellen was here filming lord of the rings and whatnot uh-huh. 20 great, odd years Mc- ago great uh, shakespeare and he also took part in um the Royal Shakespeare Company's performance of King Lear, which was oh, performed right. here in Auckland. Where so was I, it performed? At the, I want to say the Town Hall or the Aotea Centre, one or the other. Is that the same place? That is the same place. Okay, there you well, go. No, the, well, the Aotea Square is right there and Town Hall is right next it to it. It was in town. So it was Town I Hall. I can't remember. It was a long time ago. It's the Town Hall. Okay, probably the Town Hall. If, well, if it's, there is an Aotea Centre. There is an Aotea There is two theatres right there. Oh, it'll be there then. Okay. And there's like, there's a thing there. So I'm there. With my ex-girlfriend. Yeah. Date night. Or yeah. date day. I think it might have been in the day. So you, I is this a, her... a long-winded story to tell me how you got a hand job while watching King... While it watching... does involve a penis. <laughs> yes! <laughs> I'm glad it involves, involves so a penis. So I'm sitting there. I think the one... At least Actually, more... by the way, that would be a great... Here lies Mark Morgan. It does involve a penis. <laughs> great epitaph. Great epitaph. So we're yeah. sitting there watching King Lear... Yeah. And Ian McKellen's the lead. He's King Lear. Doing quite an exceptional performance that day. Oh, man, he's fantastic. And weirdly, when I studied Shakespeare in school, I always found it kind of a little bit disjointed to understand. Like, I had to think it's, about it. Like, Jesus, hard. that's hard to understand. When the Royal Shakespeare Company guys do it, it just sounds like... They're talking. They're talking normal English. Yeah, yeah. Because right. they're giving such a performance that you just get it. So that was yeah. fantastic. Yeah. But... Basically, in King Lear, he kind of goes a bit nuts because he loses his shit when he realizes his yes. daughter, eldest two daughters are kind of bitches and they just wanted his yeah. money. Um, so he's like going, there's like a homeless vagrant guy and he gets naked. The dick comes out. The yeah. dick comes out. The Ian McKellen dick came out. Well, tell me what kind of equipment it he's working with. It was fucking impressive. He had an impressive Oh my God, what a dick. <laughs> But you're gonna drink. He must slap it about before he, he comes. He must out. have warmed it up because it was four. And it was, like, oh, the way I knew it was like very. What are impressive. we talking? Are we talking? We're talking. Oh man! Like yeah, she was a. Uh, so we're talking the size of that. I was like while while flaccid. Whilst like, flaccid, I was quite far away from it, but it was impressive. It's a Jolly Roger. That it one. was, and to the point it's a great where Scott. when he got naked, because there was two little old ladies in the row in front of us. Yeah. Like when they saw that, they were just like, <gasps> like, like they, they re- reacted like, "Oh my goodness!" Did your partner look at your your, your girlfriend at the time look at you and go, "Mate, what, what are you it? doing? What is that acorn you're working yeah, with?" Yeah, no, Jeez, we, we we talked a lot about that. <laughs> that was um, yeah, yeah. He would get a, a little bit of a fluffing. You reckon? Oh, 100 percent. If okay. you were going to be naked on stage, you'd want to be impressive. Oh my god, I'd want to be impressive. I would, yeah. I would definitely give it a fluffing. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I would like it to be. About forty five seconds after having sex. Okay. So it, like the the sting is taken out of the right. erection, but it's still and it's throbbing goodness. Okay. You know. There you go. There we go. <laughs> this is a rugby podcast. <laughs> Ian McKellen's penis, everyone. Yes. We present impressive. for you. We present for the court. How do we get onto Ian McKellen's penis? It's Japan and Tonga. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> how did that happen? I don't know. Uh, but, I, um, yeah, someone in the comments tell us below how that actually yeah, happened. Um, Japan. No, did, because I said ex- oh, I explained it like a Shakespearean play, and yeah, I went with King Lear. Um, yeah, okay, Japan yeah, did yeah. show a few hints of like that kind of deadly attacking sweet hand side that can be yes. like they scored three tries. One of them was from a line out set play, yeah. and one of them was from a scrum set play. Just like, Mwah, like, oh, beautiful. The Japan moves. 2019 Japan kind of feel. Like some really sweet stuff. But for the rest of the game, the handling let them down a bit. Someone told me in the comments, because I was wondering, like, Tonga kicked a couple of balls dead. Like, the ball just kept going and going and going. Was it a high level? They had level? cut the, um, the grass really short because of the football that had been played uh. there. So the ball just kept going. So that was a little bit unfortunate. But. Yeah, Tonga, they hit back every time the Japanese scored and looked all right, but they missed too many tackles. But they had heaps of possession. So yeah, right. they're still, I mean, the Tongan side's still getting together. They're bringing in more guys who are coming into the squad. So I feel like, you know, they'll get better. They're not going to make it out of the pool, I don't think, but yeah. they'll, they'll get better between now and, and the World Cup. So, and Japan, they don't look like they're there yet. They still look a long way off, but there was at least. A couple of touches. They get that up well, like to a be little fair, bit of magic. They get up. They get up at World Cups. Yeah, they beat the South Africans, mm. and they obviously made the quarters last mm. time. So, it's they're they're a team that you you don't want to take lightly. Yeah, yeah. The other game was Fiji Samoa. Fiji. Now Fiji traveled to Samoa for that one, and Samoa had brought back or well, brought in a bunch of these kind Where of. Where was this guy I, I, in Samoa at Apia? <coughs> they played a bunch of these kind of like. Big name veterans. Some mm. of them are former All Blacks. Some of them are just Samoan internationals. But all kind of like 32 years old or mm. older. Like Steve Luatua, uh, Chris Vui oh, was that's there. Nice. Christian Liliafano. Like nice. a bunch of these guys. Luatua, I used to love watching him play. Yeah, I know. It's quite fun actually yeah. having these old guys from Blast from the Past. It was good. And you look on the paper, and you're like, man, Samoa's got some fucking big names on this yeah. side. And then Fiji played, I think, 11 out of their starting 15 with the Fijian draw players. A lot of them very young. Like, right. you know, when I say very young, I'm like 24-year-olds, 25-year-olds. So it was their like game. Like a lot of former sevens guys and whatnot. It was their game to blood some players. Kind of. And right. you're thinking, wow, with all that experience, with all those previous international caps, Samoa at home, nah, man, 33-19 to Fiji. They fucking smashed them. Oh. And they looked, Fiji looked really good, man. Yeah. And they scored like a variety of tries, like mall tries. Tell me Fiji's pull. Fiji are in the pool with Georgia, Australia, and Wales. That's a spicy meatball. Ah, that's a tasty one. Yeah. Oh, that's a that could be something. That's... The fact that Fiji scored some like Fiji non made... non stereotypical tries, like they're going for the mall against those veterans. Fiji. When was the last time they made the quarterfinals? Ninety one. By that time, they beat Wales. I think ninety one. Was it later than that? I don't remember. Ninety nine. Don't remember. Wales fans let us know. Yeah. Or Fijian the, fans let us they've know. They've got a... The, Fee, the Welsh get really nervous when they play the Island Nations at a World Cup. I think their record against them is pretty good, but they had that one really famous that, loss, and so it's just I, like burned on their souls. I think souls. they've lost to Samoa. It's like with us with the they've French. They've lost to Samoa and they've lost to Fiji before. I right. went to the game at the 2011 against uh, Wales, and there were some anxious-looking Welsh people right. in the crowd, and they didn't pump them. Okay. So they, 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 they got... Beat them. They beat them. Right. I was with my Welsh girlfriend. Oh, I had nice. to wear a Welsh jersey and a fucking daisy around my head. Oh, wow. I look like one of those guys. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Did you go back and watch the game and see if you were on the camera or you weren't? Just wanted to forget that part of my life. No, 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 no. I didn't. Actually, it was a lovely girl. Wonderful person. Um, no, it was all right. I was really... That was actually the best Welsh team at a World Cup ever i think when they that was a great team were they they could have very close they were very close they, to making a final they were incredibly close. They were about as close and they had, there's that kick that um a half penny does which he does it from like 48 meters out and mm. it looks like it goes over right and it's right in front and when you we saw it live we were at the fans a fan zone in albany watching right. it and we kind of celebrated like it went over because you know if if she if she wins and Wales wins she wins and I win, um, and it didn't and then they didn't raise their flags. Well, what the fuck? And then she was devastated. I'm talking about X. Well, she was devastated afterwards. She was like, just I need to go. Like yeah. it was the only only woman I've ever dated who was like a legit legit sports fan. Right. Which was quite quite good. Ladies, get into sport, please. Yeah. And we we like the woman's sport. You know. 
And women's football, watch any of that over the weekend? I haven't seen it. I know we we drew. Yeah, which means we're out. So we lost. We won we the game. We, we won the game that no we shouldn't. Have, we, we won sh- the game we, we shouldn't, shouldn't have won. won. We lost the game we, we should have won. won. And then we drew against a team that was much better than us. So shit happens. Yeah, we really need to get a get, uh, get a win against the Philippines, or at least a draw. Yeah, the Philippines got a scrappy goal, and we just couldn't get it in the old onion bag. Women's football. Women's football. I'm sure people came for that update. Like I said, the other game was Scotland, Italy, 25 13 to Scotland. I think they were down at half time. What's that? 13. Uh, I haven't seen a second of it. I'm hoping to see the full game before um, that load like, of washing just smells great. It does, doesn't it? Oof. Oh, wow. I love a fresh load of washing. Do you want to get on the screen? No, not keen. Is that is that bad that I've mentioned washing when your partner's come upstairs? <laughs> she like, brought the washing upstairs. Thank you, darling. I feel like I'm not allowed to do that. What's that? Did you put the washing on? No. Oh. Did I put it on? No. No, I didn't. Damn. Do you, will you hang it up? Or no, it's already dried. It's already in the, been in the dryer. In the dryer. Oh, oh nice. You didn't hear that. Yeah, yeah, Have yeah. You seen yeah. that magic coffee table? Yeah, it's one of those. That's, I love yeah. that. That's, yeah, that's, I've got a magic funny. coffee table. Although there's... But yeah, Scotland 25-13 apparently was pretty scrappy. I'm hoping to find a version of the full match appear magically on YouTube at some point, but... I haven't seen it. Will you watch yet. it? Yeah. Even though someone said it's a torrid affair. Yeah. Turgid was the word used. Yeah. Um, what's the difference between the word torrid and turgid? Oh, synonyms. <laughs> but if someone said, that's turgid, no, that's torrid, what would be the difference? Don't know. Okay. All right. Well, this has been a great chat. Um, yeah. So you'll watch it even though people said it was crap. Yeah. Because you feel like you have to watch all the international football you possibly I want to have that in the brain bank going into the World Cup. The spank bank? The sperm bank. <laughs> I'm going to the sperm bank. To watch Italy and Scotland. Um, who scored the tries? I don't know. Van der Merwe? I'm trying not to watch any of it. Why? I, I want to go in as blind as I can. So who's going to put it up? I hope somebody puts it up. If you've got a copy of it... <laughs> Send it to me. I, why didn't you use a little VPN to... I don't think it was thing? on anywhere free to do. It was on Amazon Prime in the UK. Don't have Amazon Prime oh. in the UK. I have Amazon. Do you? Yeah. We'll see if it's on after. On Prime. Okay. We'll, we'll, my... we'll see if it's... Do yeah. I? Or is it one I stopped paying for? Don't know. I think I just stopped paying for it. Damn, you bastard. I'm sorry, man. I don't mean... I didn't do it to piss you off. I'm sure you did. Yeah, you knew it. You cancelled it as I was on my way over here. I'm going to put it... I'm going to get it back when Boys comes back. Okay. I wasn't watching anything on it, so... Fair enough. I didn't see the point. Give it the ass. Mm. There's more rugby on this weekend. My wife asked me, like, when are you going to be, like... Like, when, when's your next, like, quiet weekend between we now gonna, and the World Cup? When are we going to be able to... When are we going to be able to bump nasties, there's, knock boots? There's, 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 no, there's no quiet weekends between now and the World Cup, I don't think. Is there really not? So this Samoa weekend... Samoa is hosting Tonga. That's a rivalry in itself. Shit. If that... You know what's weird, though? The league in New Zealand and Auckland right now is mm-hmm. bigger because the Tongan National when the Samoans and the Tongans play in New Zealand in league right now, mm-hmm. and it's a league game, the whole city gets blanketed in flags. They play rugby. I saw Union. one Samoan flag on the day of their game against Fiji. And it's probably because he's still rocking it from the World Rugby League World Cup. Is Maybe. That, yeah, I'd committed. Say. <laughs> really committed. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. Yeah, yeah. So was that a yeah, that is that is a massive rivalry. Japan's hosting Fiji, which will be a really interesting one to see where the two sides are at. Japan's and, at home and, again. So Japan hasn't haven't travelled anywhere. No. I think it would have been good for them to get a little mm. bit of um, some miles. Yeah, but if they get some miles under the mm. thing just to see how they would have played. Like, mm. I don't know, play a game in, against Australia in Adelaide or mm. something like that, you know? New Zealand's playing Australia in Bledisloe 2. Do you see us <coughs> ringing the changes? I knew this was going to be the question. I would love to see so, and I would love to see it work. Mm. Um, uh, obviously, I still want to see Sean Stevenson play. I'd like to see Roy Gard get a start, and mm. then with Finlay What did come you think of Roy Gard in that game? I thought he, apart from that one pass that he threw that still ended up in a beautiful in a try, try. Yeah. Um, he looked every inch 
uh, an All Black. Look comfortable, didn't he? He didn't push it too hard. Didn't push it too hard, but like he he wasn't overwhelmed by the moment. Yeah, his his service was quick and Mm. good. Like for a running player, he had a good pass. Yeah, and he and he sniped a little bit. Yeah, you know, he took a few runs. Yeah, he took a few Mm. runs, and he bit the odd man. Mm. Um. And when I say the odd man, I mean that guy out there going, um, <laughs> It's the only one he can beat. I can't beat many. Go, go, I can beat the odd guy. <laughs> Will Skelton played pretty well, I thought, when he was out there. Boy, he's a large man. He when I was large. watching with my mates who don't watch a huge amount of rugby, they're like, look at the size of that bastard. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, he's a big human. Yeah, he's giant. He's giant. Considering when you see any rugby player, even if you see Finlay Christie walk down the road, you're like, Far out. he's more stacked than I thought he would be. Like imagine all... standing next to Will Skelton. Yeah, jeez. Yeah, it's my, almost like one of those ones. Like, when was the first time you saw the sea? Like, if you're not from like a <laughs> sea, like a, a country which has the ocean. Yeah. Like my wife's from an inland province in China, so like the first time she saw the sea was like a big deal. Like the first time someone sees Will Skelton must be like, holy did fuck! You, did what you, is see, that? Did you see the sea for the first time with you? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. You took a village girl out of the village of eight million people. <laughs> It is a bit of a village over there, though, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. Well, and then she, what, what? Where did you take her? The Sanya. What? Oh, the ocean in in J- uh, Japan and uh, <laughs> China. In China. China's Hawaii. There's China. like there's like a tropical island down the bottom of China, which is like beautiful. That's a tasty. The we- <laughs> the, the weirdest thing about going to that island is like they get a shitload of Russian tourists. Oh. Like I feel like New Zealanders, if you want to go to the beach, we've got beaches. Or you go to like Queensland, Gold Coast. So it's know, like Russia's Bali. Is that what you're trying to say? Basically, it's like Russia's Bali. So like I would walk into a restaurant, they'd give me a menu, and it's like in like Russian. I'm like, no, I can't read this. And then they give me yeah. one in Chinese. I'm like, fuck. You're like, can you? I just... can read a little bit of this. I know, Do you have an English one? Like, so no. terrible being English. You're like, you're okay for us, are you? Yeah. Yeah. We we can speak English. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Must be tough speaking. You know, being a fluent and solitary mono, monolithic uh, speaker of like yeah. Portuguese or yeah, something. Yeah. You're like Portugal or Brazil. I had a That's neighbor, it. a neighbor in China who was a French guy and he was rude as fuck. Like he <laughs> that was doesn't just, sound right for a Frenchman. He, he was just like, like I'm pretty friendly. Like I see people on the street. I'm just like, good morning. You uh-huh. know, like I make eye contact. I'll give you a little wave. Like just do friendly. You, get, you walk down Lincoln road. Do you do it on Lincoln road? Yeah. If I see people, give them a good morning. Oh well, yeah, fair enough. Around the school, like other teacher, other parents and stuff. Yeah, yeah, that's okay. Yeah, Lincoln Road's a little bit more commercial than the sort of you know. Like I do it when I walk around. Uh, maybe I walk around here and I, I give people the yeah, for a good morning n- nut tap. You know, <laughs> but like I could never. Get, he lived right next door to me for like eighteen months, and I could never get nothing out of him. You didn't want but a good morning. <laughs> he didn't want nothing. But he didn't speak English, which is fair enough. Yeah, but I mean, right. at least like a. Hi. When you say bonjour. I probably could have, but I don't think I did. Maybe Je that, maybe that. Mark. Yeah. It's just with Neil Zélandais. Oh, yeah. Nouveau, is, it, is it Nouveau Zélandais? I think or? Nouveau Zélande is the country. Uh, Neil Zélandais is like the... Who you are. Basically. Okay. Then we've, I think we've exhausted our French there. Our French, yeah. That's right. Yeah. Um, that's why we're not going to the World Cup, because we'd yeah. make fools of ourselves exactly. with the language. But... Uh, yeah, it used to give me a small amount of pleasure that anywhere that fucker walks around in China, people are going to be like, hello! Because <laughs> people always give you the big hellos. Yeah. And he's going to be like, I am not a hello. <laughs> he did like six racist things in about two, 12 seconds there. Yeah, yeah no, it's great. That's, I live in China, I can yeah, say that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it basically makes you Chinese. Yeah, basically. I eat dumplings yeah. for breakfast sometimes. Yeah, I... You know, I, I like a pho for a pho for breakfast. A lot of that's good, Vietnamese. Yeah, I know, but like I like the, the soupy nutrients. Good, that, that, good that's a, that's a very common style for breakfast in China. It's like a soupy noodle. Yeah, yeah. it's good good for a hangover. Like gets mm-hmm. all the nutrients in it, replaces mm-hmm. fluids. Yeah, she's good. Argentina's playing South Africa. Both yes. sides have to travel. So where are they playing? In Argentina. Okay. Oh yeah. Okay. Traveling back. Uh, I'm going to give it to South Africa. Fair enough. Mm. Scotland are playing France. Uh, oh, that's going to tell us a lot about Scotland, but you're going to have to back France. Wales are playing England. Fuck, have I got a ton of rugby <laughs> watch this weekend? Oh, yes. Oh, shit. If it's being broadcast, I hope they are. Wales versus who? <clears throat> England. Well, like, we'll, we'll sort out some VPN stuff. Okay. What, Wales versus who? England. 
Uh, I give it to England. Pose versus Pose, in my opinion, right Ireland now. Ireland delay. Ireland. And Uruguay, Namibia. Uh, I'm going to give that to the eggs. Do people call them the eggs? Have I just used a horrible racial slur? Maybe? I think there was another game on between, was it like Namibia and somebody? Jeez Louise. Like, I, I said to people in my I life. Was not like, I, was, I was a bit like your wife thinking, oh, well, what? Well, we'll just have to watch the Wallaby All Black game and that'll be it. But you've laid another like, well, there's actually some tantalizing clashes in there. But they're warm-up clashes. It's, it's all about... Well, we're in World Cup season now. We are. It started. The Rugby World cha- rugby Championship is in the in, in the, the bag. Shed. Everything else between now and then is warm-up. No imagine if, if Argentina won. It would be... They'd hold it aloft. They'd celebrate. The, you know, it would be a massive moment of them in the Rugby Championship. And we're just like... We're just like, like, okay, can we put some beers in it, I guess, for the photos? And even with the... Even with the um, Let us like cup. When we won... I saw the footage of the last time we won it back in 2003 and they celebrated it was massive they were like yes we fucking did it um and it was a big moment to get it and it was lifted with real joy but Mm. it's just with that guy it's special still so special it means everything it means yeah it's everything to us what does it mean to you to win the bullet is like it means everything it makes the life of my children Um, that's everything that's encompassed in everything yeah basically my life my death everyone I've <laughs> ever known it's everything yeah. <laughs> my throat doing that <laughs> um, uh, sorry where was I so going? your video's coming out in a week oh I've sent myself uh, two weeks ago a week ago or two weeks doesn't sound like much but We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll, okay. see. we'll, see. we'll do. We'll, we'll um. We'll do our best. Hopefully, it'll be recorded by this timeline next week. Okay. The editing takes a long time. The editing is a pain. Yeah. <clears throat> I'll do my best. I'll do my best. Oh, yes. one last thing. Yes. I got some new beer. Oh. I'm. Are we getting sponsored? No. What? We're not getting. We're not getting sponsored. Yes. I've only got three of them. Okay. And I may share one of them with you. I haven't quite decided. But <laughs> why are you bringing it up if you're not even going to share uh, it? They're what? so they're so special. What are they? Why are they so special? So Grant came over from from Taiwan recently with his son. He's a Kiwi guy, right? Okay, I was he's like, you're talking about his, Grant like someone. He's I going know. his family, uh, and he says, "Hey, two cents. I'm in town. Uh, you want to have a quick catch up? I got something for you." Yes. He brought me some beer. From Taiwan, uh-huh. right? It's good beer. Well, the beer's name in Chinese. I don't want it now because I feel like there's too much pressure. To it's like, like it. Dragon Cave. Oh, so that's a pretty tantalizing name. Mm. But the way they like romanize that, like, where into, the, into, where like, the like, Roman letters rests. is like the dragon is L O N G, L O N G. Yes, like long, long. <laughs> <laughs> the cave is D O N G. <laughs> so we're gonna drink some long dongs together. Do you want my long dong? I love your long dong. You did a great Scott. A, 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 Why do I find that so funny? I, I even speak I, Chinese, I, I, and I know it just means dragon cave. But the fact that they end like on the bottle, they haven't put the Chinese characters. They've just got long dong, long dong. <laughs> it's fucking great. Is it a good tasting beer? I haven't tried it. All I've right. been saving it. I want to save it for a special occasion, maybe like the World Cup or something, okay. so we can World bust Cup, out a long dong. World Cup final will be smoking on some long dongs. Like I'll a, bring my long dong. Uh, yeah, bring your long I'll share dong. you my long dong. A nice oh, icy, icy long dong. I liked the way, you know, if a World Cup final... Top man, though, Grant, to bring me three bottles of beer from like international oh, that's, that's travel, a, that's, that's next that's, level that's commitment. Impressive. Cheers, Grant, man. Yeah, mate, it's very impressive. I liked the way, um, uh, God rest his soul, uh, tell me his name. No, don't tell me his name. Uh, South African Gareth Mason Gareth Mason oh god I feel bad terrible the G-man the G-man yeah uh, I, when he um, did the maybe one of the best maybe the oh, best man, live the World stream Cup of all time the was one of it my it did favorites. it in a bar They're fucking amazing yeah and his reactions were incredible yeah I've only watched the little highlights yeah, 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 yeah. But, I was um, live streaming the game at the same time people oh, really? kept telling me like during my live stream G-man's got a fucking thousand viewers or something and I was like yeah that's fine. I'm not, yeah. I'm not competing with it. <laughs> what did you but get? I, mean, I don't remember. But like, I mean, 
He was. What would you do? Would you do like he was killing it? He's South African. Yeah, that's yeah. His, his team in the but final. I think he did great. He, he was went, in a bar. Like he, went, he, yeah, it was perfect. I think that's what we should do though. If it does, if it does get to a final, you've got to do it. Just you sitting in front of your curtain as you do, like that, just wouldn't cut the mustard. It's got to. Yeah, we'll come here. We'll make, we, we could come here. We could go somewhere. We could talk. I'll bring about, my long dong. <laughs> bring your long. If we're in a bar, you may not be able to bring your long dong. We might have to smash your long dong on the on the way in. I'm not smashing my long dong <laughs> off camera. If you're gonna see my long dong, it's it could gonna be, be a semi final beer there. Like I think in terms of you know a, a World Cup final. Like imagine doing it at the Fox. You know, What's the Fox. The Fox is that the big sports bar down. I don't in, have in, a bar that I go to enough that people be like, "Hey, two cents." You, 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 like Gareth you Mason used to go to the same bars all the time. Yeah, I think right. everyone knew him. G man, yeah, he's like Norm, basically. Yeah, basically, mm. I don't have a bar like that. So you just you're just sitting in front of your curtain. Because if we're in the World Cup final, well, I'd love to live stream it with you, but I'm I'm not gonna. I need to like. It's an event. It's a it's a it's a it's a it's a thing. You've Got to make it a give it a bit of razzle dazzle, you know, razzle dazzle. Do you know Justin Marshall's going to go to the World Cup after all? Because oh. Sky oh. didn't want to take him. Yeah, I heard that, and he was really fucked off about it. So who's he going with? Super Sport. He's going with the South Africans. Oh, good for them. Yeah. I you think guys. he was he was genuinely quite pissed off that he was kind of dropped. So he can, uh, he, he, he just wants a free trip to France to like work and watch rugby, get paid, and, and free and tickets catch to up like with some all key the, games, all the yeah, old boys, exactly. and say bumper a number of times, bumper. Yeah. Oh well, yeah, that's good for good for uh, Justin. Good for you, Justin. We're really proud of you, Justin. Well done. So I think we went on some pretty strange tangents in this King one. I Lear. Think King Lear was the weirdest one. Talked about your long dong. Talked about the size of Ian McKellen's penis. It's that a whopper. Good. It's a long dong. She's a cracking long dong. And uh, I think we dissected some some good games of rugby as well. Many more to come. Are you excited about what's to come? <laughs> Can you walk me through what's... Ha- I don't know the schedule. What's happening after this weekend? I don't know the schedule past this weekend. I can't bring myself to look because then I'll have to tell my wife how many games I have to watch. So it's basically until the October you're, you're booked up. I think so. Yeah. I think there might be this. Surely, right before the World Cup, there'll be like a, a dead week. Mm, maybe mm. one week off. Yeah. All right. Anyway, you've been listening to this podcast. It's two cents gets distracted. Where have they been listening or watching? If you're watching, you're if you're watching it here on YouTube, and if you're on my channel on Distracted most, Sports, yeah, subscribe if you like. You schmigs. I've got above six thousand views. Six thousand views. Yes, uh, six thousand uh, subscribers. Well done, Tony. Yes, um, but if you are listening, you might be listening on Spotify, Google Podcasts, iHeartRadio, Apple Podcasts, or Stitcher even. And that's all we can name off the top of our heads. Exactly. Yeah. Anyway, well done, Mark. Cheers, fella. All right, Hardy Da Kakitano. Long dong. <laughs> Long dog is not a sign off. <laughs>